If you share your computer with anyone else, you can set up a user account for each person, so Windows can identify who's using the PC. With user accounts, you can personalize Windows with your own apps and settings, independently of anyone else. You also get your own personal folders for storing your files, so you can keep your information private and accessible only to you. To create a new user, you'll need to be signed into your PC with an administrator account. The administrator is a special account that has full control over the PC. This role is automatically assigned to the first account you created when you set up Windows, so it usually belongs to the computer's owner. All subsequent accounts you create are standard accounts with only limited control, which helps prevent other users from making unwanted changes to your PC. To check if your account has the administrator role, open the Start menu and select your account icon from the left-hand side, then go to Change Account Settings. This will display your account details, including whether it's an administrator. If it is, you can set up new accounts for other people by going to Family and Other People on the left. From here, you can create an account for a family member or for another person. With family accounts, adults can manage and monitor their children's activity, which we'll explore in our video on Microsoft Family later, so we'll start by adding one of those. First, we'll create an adult account. Note that family members need a Microsoft account to sign into your PC. A Microsoft account is just an email address and password you use to access Microsoft services like Outlook.com, Office 365, or Skype, for example. If the person you want to add already uses any of these services, enter the email address they use to sign into those. Otherwise, click the link below to set up a new Microsoft account for them, which we'll run through in the next example. For now, We'll enter their existing account email and click Next below, followed by Confirm to add them to our family. This will send an invitation to their email address, which they'll need to accept before they can manage your family settings. However, they can still sign into your PC in the meantime, so click Close to finish up, after which they're good to go. Note that the pending label for their account will disappear once they've accepted their invitation. Let's go ahead and set up another family member, but this time we'll add a child. If they already have an existing Microsoft account, the process is similar to adding an adult, so just enter their email address and click Next, then click Confirm to send them the invitation. Note that until they accept it, they'll be able to sign into your PC without the family settings applied, although you can temporarily block them from signing in until they do. We'll show you how in a moment. Alternatively, if you want to add a child that doesn't have a Microsoft account already, click the link below to set up a new one for them by filling out the form. Let's run through that now. When creating their email address, you can either set up a new Outlook.com address or click the link below to use an existing email address if they already have one, like Gmail or Yahoo. For this example, we'll set up a new Outlook.com address for them. When setting a password, it'll need to be at least eight characters long and contain a mixture of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols for security. Once you've completed the rest of the info, click Next then just follow the remaining prompts, which will involve entering security info to help protect their account, setting marketing preferences, and verifying your identity. After that, you're all set, and your new child account will be added with the default safety settings, which we'll configure in our video on Microsoft Family later. Once you've added your accounts, you can select any one of them to make changes. For example, you can change their account type from a standard user to an administrator, which is useful if you want another adult to help manage the PC on your behalf. You can also block the user from signing into the PC temporarily, which is handy if you want to prevent a child from signing in until they've accepted their invitation. To allow them again later, just hit the Allow button and then again to confirm. Once the accounts are set up, they'll appear on the Sign In screen each time you unlock your PC, so you can choose which one you want to sign in with. The first time you sign in with a new account, Windows will take a minute or so to set things up for you and you'll need to be connected to the Internet. It'll also give you the option to set up a PIN code, which you can use in place of a password, as well as set up your free cloud storage with OneDrive, both of which we'll explore in separate videos. Once the setup's complete, your PC is ready to use. Note that the first time your child signs in, they'll get a notification about the family features, which they can tap or click to learn more. To switch to another user, open the Start menu and go to your account icon on the left-hand side, then select the user you want to switch to. They can then sign into your PC at the same time without you having to close your apps or sign out first. 
When they're done, they can either switch users again in the same way, sign out if they finished using the PC, or just lock it if they want to take a break and come back to it later. Lastly, to remove a family account from your PC, open your account settings again and head back to Family and Other People. Then click the link on the right to manage family settings online. This will open up a web browser and connect to your Microsoft account online, where you can manage all your family settings. We'll explore these options fully in a separate video. To remove an account, whether it's a child or an adult, use the links on the right to remove them from the family, then click Remove again to confirm. Note that this won't delete the account from your PC, but just convert it to a non-family account instead, so they can still sign in but without the family features. To remove the account completely, just select it from the Other People list and click Remove, then click Delete Account and Data to confirm. This will remove all their personal files too, like their documents and pictures, so make sure they back up any files they'd like to keep before doing so. And that wraps up our video on family accounts. In the next video, we'll show you how to add accounts for non-family members like friends or colleagues, as well as local accounts for guests who just need basic one-time access only.